So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the... All right, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here too. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up right. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, a huge block there. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Is that punch no good? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Choi. Straight right hand, no good. Let's go, you can do this. Keep Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? A little single collar tie there. Big knee lands right through the opponent's midsection. Leg kick. Some nice back and forth action here. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing uh -huh. Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Nice punch, man. Single collar tie now. His misses are hesitant. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he landed the right hand there. Very nice leg kick there by Choi. Nice punch there. Good shot. Good shot. Just misses with the straight right. 
Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Beautiful kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, excellent takedown defense so far in this fight, and there it is again. He knew if he was going to win this fight, he was going to have to stop the shot, and he's certainly done that so far. He has done a great job of staying upright. He understands positioning. He understands finding defense and getting back in the space where he's having the most success. Flush right hand is true. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And just misses with that big right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Round one winding down here. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Left hand punch with the clinch. Round two is next. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Beautiful punch. Single collar tie here. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just out of range with that right hook. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, now we're going. Lands flush with that right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Scramble, scramble, scramble. I mean, at this point, you just have to do something. You know, you have to maybe start trying to pull guard, grab him, pull him into you to try to change it and get him in your realm where you have the advantage. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Joy gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round, no denying. Ooh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Hey, 
checks that leg kick. Joy gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. him with the left. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Back to the feet now. Good spit. Right hand on point. Nice kick. Oh, nice. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much. Perhaps just looking to recover. Right hand punches the clinch. Good punch. An uppercut in it. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Get right here. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. You gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Big kick. Kick right there, landed perfect. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the stream round. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Joy gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, big punch land. left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Man, look at him load up on that right. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Swing and a miss by Choi. Again, back up to this position. going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Strike. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Just over three minutes now to go. 
blocks the shot. What a big time thing. All right, going for a single leg takedown here. That is usually his takedown attempt of choice and works out for him. Absolutely. He is comfortable. He is home when he's in on a single leg. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Down into his mouth. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. What a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, big head kick lands. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target, John. It's like the dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just get beat up, hit bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab right behind it. It's nasty. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. And he's back up. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Look at the whip action that comes from just throwing that kick. That right hand landed. Huge knee lands from close. And they separate. Oh, that's a good right hand. Head kick lands. Nice. This is very tricky when he throws that body kick. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Swing and a miss with that punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Punch over the top. Doubles up on the jab. You're good. You're good. Look at him working. Whoa! Trying to set the liver down. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by the Korean Super Bowl. And back to his feet. Joy gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Whipped on the uppercut there. And there comes the separation now. 
whiffs on the straight right hand. All right, he engages in a single follow tie here. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Try to establish that jab. Nice straight punch. Just over three minutes to go. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick. He somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Right up to the elbow, the body kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. Man! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's giving him so many different things right now. He's hurt really bad. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Let's get him down. Big head kick lands. 90 seconds now to go in this one. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Nice loop and punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lands a kick to the leg. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Watching this guy move on the ground, another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Oh! Oh! oh. Unbelievable. Serve him up. Go get him. What a round. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth cup. Whoa! to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! Close guard. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife through butter. What a great job passing. Joy going to work here from the full guard. Nice combination of strikes. Mixing it up pretty well here. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. 
Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the buck. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Nice right hand. Wild swing there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big punch lands through the middle. Just misses there with the left. Punch is blocked. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment.